controlled chaos here. Let's go ahead and rank all the major updates for No Man's Sky. And with doing this, I'm going to give the reasons why I put them in the rank that they're in. Well, let's go ahead and get started. First, number one is the Outlaws update. The reason I put this in the Outlaws update as number one is because you got a new ship type. You got the Solar Sail ships, and they have a really cool benefit to them. Their pulse drive is way, way faster. It's really cool and it regenerates and things like that. The second reason that the Outlaws update is number one is they put in smuggling and black market goods. They made it so that you can actually officially be a really good, cool smuggler. And it feels really good doing it. And there's multiple ways of doing it, not just one. Another reason is the atmospheric dogfighting you can do in the atmospheres of planets. Being able to go from space to atmosphere and fight. Another reason is pirate space stations. Pirate space stations are just really cool, really different. A new way of getting missions and selling and stuff like that. And they're broken off from the other space stations. So you can't jump from a regular space station to a pirate space station, which makes traversing space by teleports a bit more different. Another reason that the Outlaws update is number one is the fact that you have pirates attacking ground facilities. You have pirates attacking you on the ground from air. That was really interesting. And these are all the reasons the outlaw update is number one. Number two, the sentinel update. The reasons why I put the sentinel update in number two is you have new types of sentinels and not just one but multiple new types of sentinels. You have the summoner sentinels. You have the repair sentinels. You have the new combat sentinels. And then you had the regular sentinels that you had before. This also added in the ability to have your mech follow you around and join you in combat. Another thing they did is they improved ground combat. They made it a lot more challenging when fighting the Sentinels. And this increases the fun for people who like combat. The final thing that they did is they added new upgrade modules for your suit and for your weapons. By harvesting those Shire Glasses from the Sentinels you fight and defeat. Number three in the updates that I put is the endurance update. And the reason this is number three is they did a, re a revamp and enhancement of the freighter bases and building bases on your freighters. Some people might see some drawbacks. I see a lot of enhancements to this. They made some great improvements. Another reason is they added in Leviathan freighters into your fleet which really makes your fleet look different you can have a complete leviathan fleet except for your main freighter they also improved the graphics for space effects they added in really cool looking nebulas that you can fly through they added in storms that happen they added they made the black holes look cooler they increased what asteroids look like and and defined how they look and then made the patterns that they're in so they're not always in giant clumps you'll find some in giant clumps you'll find some sort of scattered out separate from each other things like that another thing they did is they gave us a new way of gathering resources and using it on your freighter base the final thing they did is they made it easier for you to find the resources to refuel your pulse engine. All you have to do is just do a scan while you're out in space and it will show you the nearest asteroids around you that have the resource to refuel your ship. The fourth and final update is the waypoint update. 
this waypoint update didn't have as much as the others, which is why it's at the bottom of the list. The major thing it did was it introduced the playability on the Nintendo Switch. The second thing it did is it increased and updated the UI. With the update up to the UI, they changed a lot of the icons. They split out the technology that's installed from your regular inventory. And they increase the amount that you can have in your technology on any, whether it be your ships, your exosuit, your uh, multi-tool, whatever it be. And then they separate out regular in, uh, inventory. The other great thing that they did is they made it so that you can deconstruct modules and put back into your inventory. So you can sell modules that are on your ship back to the vendor. Or let's say you find a different ship or a different multi-tool and you want to use the modules that you have on one into another. You can remove those modules from one and put them now in another. So that was a great enhancement. Overall, this is the list and how I figured out it would be ranked. I want to know what would your list be? How would you rank these? What is your favorite update? Let me know down in the comments below and have a great day.